What's up, YouTube? So today we are hopefully, <laughs> tentatively, we are going to cut up the cedar that is gonna be used for the chicken tractors. So hopefully we'll be able to get all of that cut up. We gotta put a new blade on the sawmill. We'll show you all that. And then cut it up into two by twos and hopefully uh, begin actually constructing the chicken tractors because our goal is we wanna have meat chickens in the next few weeks. So we'll take you along for that whole process of building a chicken tractor, just so you know, is not something you do to harvest chickens. It's essentially a mobile chicken coop. So we'll show you how to build that. We gotta go get supplies and all of that stuff, but the wood and, and the most expensive parts of the supplies are right here behind me on the sawmill. Once we get those milled up, we'll have everything we need to hopefully build ourselves a chicken tractor. You gonna cut it up for us? Yep. Okay. All right, these are the new Woodmiser blades. We should have six in here. Um, we have to save this box, although it's kind of in rough shape, but I'll show you what those blades look like coming from Woodmiser. It's kind of nice because they give us this box and the ability to ship it back to them. So we can actually ship our blades. They'll resharpen them. I think it's like seven bucks a blade. And then uh, they'll send them back to us. They'll ship us back to them. Or ship them back to us. So if you notice, they're kind of bent in this odd shape with this metal clip right here. Basically what you do is you grab one. And there's a brand new saw blade ready to go. So basically, we release the tension on this arm to bring these two together. We open these bad boys up. Like so. I do want to say that they kind of make it idiot proof, but I don't want to say that on camera because if I mess up, then I'll You know what? I think it's better to do it on this one first. If that's the one that works. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, they make it idiot proof. And I can't. And we just apply tension to it. Like that. And then it will actually self adjust on there. So the forward and backward, it will self adjust once uh, we get it started, which is kind of neat. And that's it. So then what we'll do, we'll look at our cut list first, but I think it's just a bunch of two by twos. These are two inches thick. So what we're gonna do is rotate these, stand them on end, lock them in place, and then we can just take two inch passes and we'll have a bunch of two by twos. Sweet. <laughs> Well, we got all of our boards cut and ready to go. We just almost ran out of gas on this. The only thing we have left to do is we have to rip these down to two by fours. Right now they're two by sixes. Um, that shouldn't be too bad. We'll just set up a little jig to do that to uh, run them straight. But other than that, we are done cutting. All right, so we went to the store. We picked up all the rest of our hardware and roofing and all of that stuff. So we have all of our boards cut. We are here in the shade. It is a lot nicer here in the shade. And we're gonna see, we got about an hour before we really need to head home. So we're just gonna see how much we can get done in an hour.
Thanks for joining our adventure. 